What's up guys, it's me again, Torgo Pro, and I wanna share with you how we got Microtech Certified Engineer. We can compare this one if you know Cisco because Cisco is very, very popular certification. The Microtech certification is different from Cisco certifications because Cisco certification, they get you into a deep understanding with OSI, subnetting, TCP IP environment, and all those things, and then they integrate their uh, OSPF, the devices of Cisco. Compared to Microtech, they expect you to know all the basic stuff with networking wherein you get into Microtech training and they're going to show you how to configure the devices of Microtech. Uh, it would be very, very helpful if you have those knowledge already because when we got into the training, it was very fast because it is expected that we know those basic things and we dive into the configuration and how to handle the devices of Microtech. We cannot beat out Cisco with Microtech because Microtech is, the, the way I see it is, Microtech is coming on affordable devices as compared to Cisco. So probably later on, more and more people will get to know Microtech and probably prefer using Microtech to this small to medium size business environment where Cisco, of course, with these bigger companies who can afford to spend millions of money with Cisco, yeah, they will be using Cisco. But um, the experience that we went through with Microtech was good and it just validates your knowledge with networking as you go through the Microtech certification. So what happened to us, it's not like again Cisco that you go to a person view, you schedule your exam and take the exam. I think for Cisco that's 50 to around 60 question with lab scenarios in the exam, but for Microtech it's um, multiple choice, multiple select, true or false exam. That is 25 questions in one hour. The exam that you're going to take, cannot take the exam with Microtech unless you went through the training. Not like for Cisco, you can go to where trainings you have or if you have the knowledge already, you can take the exam. In our area, we were invited to this bootcamp training that is six day training, I, mean, I think seven or six day training with Microtech. And after in the final days, final two days of the training, we get to take three exams. The first exam we took was the MTZNA known as Microtech Certified Network Associate. Uh, this is a requirement for all other certifications you need to take with Microtech. So it's like the level one. And then we have the Microtech Certified User Manager Engineer. We're able to pass that. And then we have also the Microtech Certified Routing Engineer. And lastly, uh, we have our participation certificate on the training. I would not say that Microtech is very easy because you really need to put your effort into it because the, the, the training would be fast. By the way, our trainer was uh, Roy Lopez Pamitalan, he's a funny guy when he discusses about the things uh, on the Microtech uh, configurations and theories. He's a very straightforward kind of guy. So you're going to see his face later on. He's a Microtech certified trainer. Let's go through the training day by day as I'm going to show you with our footage. So day one, we need to register like any other trainings you are going to attend. This is the first day all of us are excited. We need to start up right away. And this was organized by Pisite, Lenovo, Microtech, Binget State University, and WIS Master. Our schedule are as follows. We do MTCNA, MTCRE, and MTCUME. That is our trainer, Sir Roy. We need to help each other to finish the task because it's a very fast-paced training. Day three, we are doing um, <coughs> failover, <coughs> policy routing, yeah. recursive routing. See ya. Today's day four. Yeah, we're doing good. I think are getting hard. Things are getting more complex with Microtech training but yeah we need to move on it's basics that's junk that's junk break time and some are still working on something but days have gone fast and we're at the end this is the closing ceremony already our trainer is giving out some speech and 
It's awarding time. Everybody's happy. We all made it to the finish line. We are certified Microtech certified engineer, as you say so. So there are three certifications we finished. All of us were there. MTCNA, MTCUME, and MTRE. One of the things we achieved here, all of us, was becoming a Microtech trainer. We need to pass at least two exams at a rate of more than 75% of the exam. So we're able to do that one. For me, I think the first exam was 98%. The second exam was 79%. And my third exam, my MTRE, is 87%. So that was a good achievement for every one of us. And for those who are aspiring to be Microtech certified engineers, it's doable as long as you put everything you had in it and you can achieve it. All smiles for us because you are able to achieve what we train for. Congratulations, Batch. Training is done.